Students at school under the influence of cannabis. That's a problem in many districts, including Mount Vernon. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports on a program combining discipline with treatment and compassion. Mount Vernon, like many communities, is seeing an uptick in kids using cannabis and showing up at school. Already impaired from marijuana or vape products, ill prepared to begin learning. That's why the city has created a youth cannabis treatment court. The key takeaway is that we are restorative rather than punitive. High school senior Tamaya Williams is one of the peer counselors on the court. Students who get in trouble at school over cannabis can agree to get counseling for substance abuse and appear in treatment court for a peer review. We send kids into after school programs and helping with community service and we're setting them on a better path to be more productive members of our society. Rather than focusing on punitive measures, the partnership emphasizes evidence-based practices that educate teenagers about the effects of cannabis use on the brain and body. Studies show cannabis has a negative influence on still developing adolescent brains. With gummies, candies, and other appealing products, kids have more access to cannabis than ever before. Responsible retailers such as Elevate in Mount Vernon only sell to 21 and older and warn customers to store products safely away from youngsters. The mayor says parents and guardians have a key role to play. Parents, parents, we must be active in parenting. Cannabis products never more available for teens to use and abuse. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And researchers can you just continue to study the impact of cannabis use on the adolescent brain. It's already linked to higher rates of depression and other psychiatric disorders.